Good morning, everyone. Welcome to our morning inspiration. Friday, April 26, 2024. I pray that God will pour His Spirit upon you today and may He protect you from harm and from danger. And may you draw near to Him as He draw near to you. Our reading today comes to us from John chapter 12, reading from verse 46 to 50. And it says, I am come a light into the world, that whosoever believeth on me should not abide in darkness. And if any man hear my words, and believe not, I judge him not, for I come not to judge the world, but to save the world. He that rejected me, and receiveth not my words, had one that judged him. The word that I have spoken, the same shall judge him in the last day. For I have not spoken of myself. But the Father which sent me, he gave me a commandment, what I should say and what I should speak. And I know that his commandment is life everlasting. Whatsoever I speak, therefore, even as the Father said unto me, so I speak. Amen. We give God thanks this morning for his words this morning. And we thank him for the privilege that we have to share in the beauty of his word. Now, why did Jesus come into the world? He came as a light source. He came to bring light into a dark world. Isn't that what he says? And he says that what? He came... So that whosoever should believe, believe in this light, this light Jesus, they will not abide in darkness. Because think about it, when you are in the light in your house, aren't you in the light? Now if you walk from where the source of light is into a different room where there is no light, you are in darkness. True? And so he said that if any man, if anyone hear me, and believe not so he is saying now he's making the declaration now he's saying that if you hear my words and choose not to believe then I will not judge you that's an interesting statement for him to make but that's what he says he says that he will not judge you because that's not the reason why he came he came to do what to save the world very interesting but he also went on to say that if we reject him and if we choose not to believe and to accept what he's saying then the same word which he has spoken to us that same word will turn around and judge us so you see why it is important for us not to cast judgment on each other we must speak the word to them and let the word of god do the judging amen so it is not our responsibility to condemn anybody, to judge anybody. The only responsibility we are given is to share the gospel, to share the word of God and leave it there. Amen? Because the word of God speaks for itself. So if you are not sure about something, you can go to the word of God. And if you are doing something that is wrong, you can go to the word of God. And if you are doing something that is right, you can go to the word of God because the word of God have answered for everything that you and I need answer to. And the Holy Spirit is there to give clarity and understanding if we truly desire to know what is right and to do what is right. The word of God said what? In the beginning was the word and the word was what? The word was God and the word what became flesh and did what come to dwell amongst men so let's go back to it here right here so it says that what if any man do not believe my word who is the word God is the word so if any man who do not believe in God this same God this same word will judge them at the end so when we are sharing the word of god try to stick to the script what is the script the thus say the lord because if we give the word as the word is then the word know how 
to weed out the things in us that sh that should be weed out now what am i saying am i saying that if you see somebody doing something that is not right you shouldn't say anything to them certainly not then you would not be a a, a very good brother or sister or good friend if you see somebody making a decision that is harmful to them and you don't tell them only your enemy would do something like that and that is why the word of god says that we must show brotherly love we must look out for each other but where we must be careful is when we start to be judgmental and on the flip side of things there are a lot of us when we are being corrected and when we are being informed of the truth we love to draw the trump card to say that others are judging us even if they are not judging us no if you are somebody who is interested to be a better person a better christian you won't always cry judgment whenever somebody is correcting you because maybe the person mind is nowhere there but because you know in yourself and you whatever the person is saying it, it's a nerve because you know that what you're doing is wrong and you don't want anybody to say anything in regards to what you're doing then the best defense you can draw on at that point in time is to say the person is judging you so that the person can back off and that is poor attitude for a child of god to have but i do understand that many a times we do face judgment but i have this i have this thing where i say though if the thing is to better me as a person, then by all means, I will take the instruction. But if the way that you come is not a nice way, then I will confront you afterwards in a nice way to say that while I do appreciate what you are saying to me, I do not appreciate the way in which it was done. An argument done there. So instead of just shut out the, the old information and to shut out the, the reproof altogether, you accept what you need to accept and then you address what you need to address. So God came not to condemn anybody, but to draw people to him, to God, to save people. And so let us follow Jesus' method. Leave our feelings and our emotions out of it when we are sharing the word of God lead with love because our emotions and feelings will confuse the situation because when you speak to somebody and the pers person don't accept what you say then you become offended especially if you know that you are telling them the truth yeah it it, it 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 might hurt you to see them rejecting what is good for them but at the same time you have to respect the decision the scripture said that everything that we do in this life will come back to either haunt us or to bless us in the judgment so there is nothing that is it from the sight of god and so just let god do his thing share the word help to strengthen each other and to guide each other in the right way be the reflection of light that we are called to be because jesus is the source of light and we are reflecting his light and so the world must see the reflection of christ's light shining from us and draw near to the light source which is god and then we would have been playing the role or the part that god always intended for us to play so may god continue to bless us and one other thing i i need to to say is this when we are sharing the word of god try to leave your own interpretation out of it speak whatever the word of god is saying whatever the holy spirit bids you to speak speak no more no less because god do, don't need any extra topping up from you or from me all he desire is for us to do what he says so he asks us to do this or to do that just do that and finally his commandment as he said is life everlasting and don't we see that think about the cup the ten commandments don't it 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 preserves us preserves our life think about it because if you keep the commandment you won't steal you won't kill 
you won't do anything that is wrong and all of that and so it helps you to walk in a good path and it points you to the savior who can give you that everlasting life that we need amen so may god continue to bless you and your family and continue to walk in his light and in his favor amen